Hello and welcome back for another session on LiDAR for metal detectorists and this time uh, hopefully you've been through the first tutorial which is all about how to get set up with QGIS and uh, create a render um, let me switch that back on for you now so you should have some kind of color render in QGIS um, of the LiDAR data uh, that we go through in that first episode but sometimes for me um, LiDAR can be a bit tricky to explain to people if you're trying to share that information you want to share it in a visually striking way um, that uh, landowners perhaps will understand but at the same time you carry through the features um, of the lidar underneath the surface the best way to do that is bring in some aerial photography and amazingly um, there are a couple of plugins that can do that for you uh, but there's one which is particularly brilliant called hcm gis so to get hold of that you just pop up to plugins manage and install plugins and once it pops up you know it always takes a little while um just pop it into the search bar we're gonna you can see i've already done it there uh hcm gis and select it and you'll have the option here to install that plugin it'll take a couple of seconds and you'll get a menu appear up here and it really is as simple as clicking on the menu going to base map and you've got loads of options here but for the purposes of what we're going through just select google satellite and it'll instantly download the google satellite image for that area uh, but what's more is it's uh, it, it will automatically go with you so if you're scrolling left to right etc the google maps will download for that area as you're using it which is brilliant but now we can't see any of the lidar data there's some crop marks but we can't see the lidar underneath so how do we fix that well, firstly you can see it snuck in between the two layers i'm just going to drop that one below it there we go firstly what i need to do is change and look at the transparency of the layer and amazingly some of the other options uh, for aerial photography won't allow you to do this it can only bring it in as a temporary layer but with hcm gis you can actually amend and edit that layer which is brilliant so all we need to do is change the blending mode uh, for me, one of my favorites is going to be multiply. So I'm going to select multiply. You'll see it goes particularly dark. That's okay for now. And you could play with this. Um, you can amend all of the brightness contrast. You could make something amazing. Um, I'm not a particular fan of having the, if I was sharing an image with like a landowner or something like that, I'm not a particular fan of having the um, topographical lows and highs, etc., on the hill shade. So I, sorry not on the hill shade on on the color shading so i'd be tempted to switch off the color shade and just work with the uh, um the raw hill shade and the google satellite image and you can see straight away that's a pretty recognizable image of where we are it's a little bit low on the saturation i've had to pop it up on the brightness you will do with multiply but if you try overlay it will just blow it out regardless um so work with multiplier I find it's the best way um, to get the kind of image you probably want to use uh, and you can tinker away with the saturation the contrast until you find something that works for you and that's it it's as simple as that um, that's how to get decent aerial photography in and use with QGIS um, and also how to layer it over a uh, lidar layer I hope you enjoyed the video um keep your eye out for new ones there'll be more coming all the time uh we've got some more coming soon on geo referencing and a few other bits and bobs too